guys good morning so today's sunday we have a photo shoot today well <laughs> we're gonna be taking the pictures ourselves but we're gonna be taking pictures to go on the website today because i did go ahead and renew and get a new website so so yeah we're gonna be taking pictures today i'm gonna show you guys the shirts and sweaters that we're gonna be taking pictures of um i'm trying to get some outfit together this was very last minute I need to pull on my hair so I can have to stout, so I'm gonna do that in a minute, but let me show you guys. So we have this one that we're gonna be taking pictures in. This one. So if you like any of those designs, then definitely check out acecreations.co. It's acecreations.co. I'll put it on the screen so you can order your t-shirts and sweaters. But yeah, that's what's happening right now. Um, I actually need to go to the car wash before I do any of that. I have to go to the car wash, get the van cleaned up, and then um, when I get back, probably I'll do my hair before I leave. I don't know. But I'm going to pull the twist out, fluff it out a bit, and start to get ready to go take these pictures. So definitely stay tuned. I'm probably going to record the process of taking the pictures and all of that. I'm only going to be using my mom's phone. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. Give me some castor oil. I need this to be a little bit more fluffy. I should have pulled these out yesterday so they could be fluffy, elongated, but it's gonna have to work like this. I don't even got no lip liner to line my lips, but I'm gonna make it work. Let's check on the time because I have something to do before we even go downtown to take these pictures. I'm probably just gonna do like concealer. I don't think I'm gonna do um, foundation. But that's a pickup on the planner in Dollar Tree, and now I don't have one. So, please go into work with what we have.
Okay guys, so we are done taking pictures downtown. Um, I have to go do something right now. I have to go run some errands. It's Sunday, we need to go home and cook as well. So I will insert the pictures and also the link to the website. My twist out actually came out really good, so that's nice. But yeah, it's pretty. But yeah, head on home. Okay guys, so this is the website. Um, so if you type in accreations.co, it should take you right to it. And these are just some stuff that I have up here for right now. Um, so yeah. And these are the pictures that we took today. I'm recorded on my phone, so if the quality is different, then she's going to be cussing me out for showing her feet. If the quality is different, then just know it's because I'm recording on my phone. But I got those pictures up there. Um, so obviously you can order. The sweaters are $45, which I feel like is very affordable for a custom sweater. I want to change this, but I'm trying to see how I'm going to do some research because I'm still not like quite sure how to work um, Shopify so I'm going to do some research and try to find something that I will like that fits the aesthetics of the website to go up here but yeah um, so I got this is the same sweater as this like these are the same um, designs then I got my picture that I took so this is our fate over fear this is our fate over fear sweater it does come in different colors so you have the option of choosing different colors and sizes so that's that and i know winter is coming back sooner than we want it to come back so yeah i really love this picture that i took i like the way i posed <laughs> oh girl i can't be showing my feet like that on this internet like why oh my feet look crazy these pictures be showing my feet up. I should have zoomed in before I posted these pictures on here. And yeah, got the other pictures. So the ones that my husband took. And then the other one that my mom took. And then... Let's see. We got these designs. And no one took pictures in this, this design or this one, but... When we go back for a different photo shoot, definitely gonna take pictures in these as well. So you can see what it looks like when someone is actually wearing the shirt. So this design I actually really like as well. Um, Rise up and pray, Luke 2246. I like that. So again, it comes in multiple colors and sizes. I try to go up to 3X large. I have not had someone well, I've had one person order like 5X. I do go up to 5X. It's just not on here, but I do go up to 5X. Um, I'm trying to see if I can have somewhere where you guys can email me if you need like a certain size or whatever the case may be. Or if you want to like have a different font than what is listed because these are custom. Like you can get these customized to your liking and your desires. So definitely go on my website and support us and get yourself a sweater or a shirt the shirts are pretty affordable as well like i feel like 26.99 or 27 dollars is really affordable because these are custom shirts like i spend time making these <laughs> okay so yeah good morning good afternoon all right all right so when i went to saint andrew's hospital for my medical i went there at seven in the morning I registered, sign in, get my name, you know, just to make sure that I, I, that was my date for medical. I was there, I was waiting for about an hour. Then I went into the room, I did like an eye test. I did a sign, a sign a piece of paper, I think. Yeah, I signed a piece of paper. Uh, I think I answered a few questions. Then I went and to the, do the physical. They do a physical. 
then you do a, a chest scan x-ray on your chest you do I did a, um, a blood test after I did the blood test yeah that's basically it as I can remember right right at this present moment but I don't think we've I don't think I've done much I think it was just a bit and it also depends on the state that you're going that um you would do a drug test but I did not do a drug test so I will they will, I think they said they were testing my blood for it. Ah, uh, what was it again? Is it? I don't think I don't even remember. But they just said they were just testing my blood for something. And yeah, that's it. Oh, also with the vaccine, please make sure that you're fully vaccinated before going to the medical, like your COVID booster, your varicella, your teed up. The hepatitis B. Yeah, so make sure that you're fully vaccinated before you go to the medical. If not, you will have to do, you will have to get all injections. So, yeah, that's what I remembered so far. If, if I do remember anything more, I'll let, keep you guys posted. All right, my experience at the interview, it was pretty smooth. Nothing out of the ordinary. I asked, they asked me like what? I think it was three questions. Is how long do I know my wife? When did I get married? And if I know the location that I'm going to. Those were the three questions they asked. And it does look from uh, apparently they just look at my documents and my back my documents and yeah that's it those are the three questions then they just give me the white paper keep my passport so yeah it it was pretty smooth as long as there is everything that is that's need to be there. You should be good. Alright. So thank you guys for listening. And I hope you guys. Find something out of it. And whosoever. Is going to do an interview on the medical. I really hope you guys. Are well prepared. And everything. Will work out in the glory of God. Okay don't mind the way I look. I look crazy. For huge. But for the medical. You can take all your vaccines beforehand at a local clinic or you, you're going to have to pay when you go to the hospital. Okay. For the interview, uh, take your DS-260 confirmation page because if you don't have that, you can't go in past the security. Um, your spouse or whoever is filing for you don't have to be at the interview. I wasn't there. Um and he got through perfectly fine. So you don't have to be there. But if you want to be there, you can be there. Um, that's it. I explained everything in my other videos. So if you have any other questions, you can go watch that video. Or you can comment them down below and I'll answer them. So. Okay, I'm going to insert the comment right here of what we're responding to. But she asked, whose passport photos do you have to bring? If you're filing for your husband, then your husband has to bring his passport size photos. Or if your husband is filing for you, then you have to bring your passport size photos. So the applicant, not the applicant, the beneficiary, their passport size photos. Um, and this medical appointment, the appointment was for, I think, 12.30 p.m., but he got there at 7 a.m. It is first come, first serve. So even though your appointment is later in the day, get there early so you can leave early because it's a long process it takes hours <laughs> so get there early so you can leave early he got there at 7 a.m 
his appointment was at 12 p.m. or 12.30 around that time. So definitely tell your husband to get there early. And um, for vaccines, if you go on the cdc.gov website, you'll see the vaccines needed to immigrate or migrate depending on your age. So the vaccines go based on age. So definitely look into that. Um, and if you're like, you said you're one year, so I don't know if you started the, um, the NVC process yet, but you're probably going to start it soon. So definitely go on USCIS website. They have a timeline that you can see what's coming next and what documents you will need. So do your research, go on USCIS website, go on NVC website and the cdc.gov website. And also Facebook groups, you can go into those and um, you'll find everything you need. So, yeah, if you have any more questions, then leave them down below and I'll try to answer them in the comments section.